Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video I'm going to show you a very easy tutorial on how to make your semi-automatic paintball gun into a fully automatic marker. So the first step is to get inside your gun into the trigger assembly. So to do that, remove all of the allen key spots along with any screws, um, the barrel, the hopper, and all those screws to get inside. I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see, I have dismantled my Tipman 98 paintball gun, if you couldn't tell. And before you do this to your gun, I'd recommend Googling how to do a field strip on your exact model and how to reassemble. So you make sure you put everything back exactly as it should be. Along with, of course, the modification I'm about to show you in order for it to work perfectly. So, what we're going to focus on modifying is the trigger assembly area, which is right there on my gun. So, as you can see, uh, just behind the trigger, there's the black piece right here. And right about, he and all it does, sorry, is when you pull the slide back or when it automatically cocks back in semi-auto mode, this little lever here will lock the slide. Hard to show you, but it goes back and forth and it'll lock the slide. And right here, as you can see, there's a hole. I just put the nail in it. And if you use something like a nail or whatever to jam this hole, it'll prevent this lever from um, catching the slide and essentially locking the trigger in the on position. So all I'm going to do is cut a piece of metal off of this nail. You can use whatever you want as long as it fits snugly in that hole. And I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll reassemble the gun. So there you have it. As you can see what I've done, and this is essential I forgot to mention. You have to put it on my model to the left of the pin um, to engage it in the on position instead of the off position obviously. So there. I've actually used a shish kebab skewer put on the left side right there which essentially means when you pull the trigger it opens it and keeps it down as long as you hold the trigger. Let's reassemble it and I'll show you some test shooting. Here's the reassembled paintball gun. We're outside. Uh, currently nothing in the hopper right now. I'm going to show you straight CO2 test first, then if all goes well, I'll load in some paintballs. So here we go, straight CO2, cock back the cocking handle, should stay like that, and now hold down the trigger and see what happens. Watch. It is a gas hog, let me tell you, but I'm going to load in some paintballs and we'll shoot at that tree. Got some ammo loaded in my hopper now that we know it works full auto. I'm gonna be shooting at that tree and uh, let's see how this goes. Jam. Show you my finger here. It jams because they shoot so fast. Basically, as you can see, some's broke on the tip there. But basically, there's the full auto paintball mod. Very easy, very simple. Uh, a lot d do break in your barrel, but uh, could use some improvement maybe. But now you know how to do it, basically. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.